Hey there, just a quick vid to show you an update to this T-pipe air heater I made a little while ago. Just by adding this small metal coupler to the bottom, I'm doubling and even tripling the heat output out of here from like 170 Fahrenheit, which I think is like 75 Celsius around there, up to around 500 or 250 Celsius. It's unbelievable, just with the height of two and a half inches. It allows the flame to fully develop in there, get all the heat to the top so that it's extreme heat up here, and then the same fans blow in the air through at the same rate, but it's two to three times hotter. I'm getting blasted right now with 475 degree heat. I think that's what that says anyway. The temps coming out of this thing right now are literally insane. I think we're pushing close to 500. I think it says 475 about. I literally cannot believe this temperature. Look at that. 500 degrees. That's what, 250 Celsius? It's been burning now about 30 minutes, and we're still close to 500. Just a little bit shy of it now. The flame must be getting a little bit weaker. You know that feeling when you open the oven door and it blasts you from the bottom up? That's what this feels like sitting in front of it right now. That's insane. That's totally insane. That's awesome. This, by the way, three inches from here to here, raises it about two and a half from there to there, and of course four inches this way. But you set it on, set that on. That's all you gotta do. Then to make it more permanent so it's not wobbly like that, you'd wanna put some construction adhesive in here and maybe even uh, furnace tape over that. Also, maybe some bricks on the sides back to back here and here like that, so it won't fall over. This is pretty much everything you need right here. Just the four inch T, four inch coupler, six ounce can with about a third of the top cut off, inside a tuna can, and the bricks are the flat style ones, two by four by eight. You don't want to use the regular clay bricks because they're not completely flat and you don't want this thing wobbly at all. I think these are concrete, red concrete bricks, but some sort of stone. But that's it. For some reason, that two and a half inches adds a lot more heat to what's coming out. I think it's because the flames get a chance to get all the way to the top, fully heat up, and then it just blows all the superheated air out. Whereas when you don't use this, the heat's in there, but it blows a lot of it through kind of the middle of the flame before it really has a chance to fully develop. That's just a guess. I'm not sure. But it is up to 500 degrees consistently about 4, 450 versus about 170 Fahrenheit. One thing, really important, you should connect this with, say, construction adhesive or something, and then maybe furnace tape around there, because this is always going to be kind of loose. 
That's because these couplers are designed for the flexible tubing with the clamps, but the clamps are no good with this, actually makes it worse. So you have to use something to connect that tightly, otherwise this could just fall off. Nice.